What's up, guys? Chris Nineteen here, and we'll be watching uh, Stephen A. Smith and Mac Max Keller. I I forgot the last name Keller. Now. I don't even know. But um, so if you want to go watch this and video and any a bunch of other videos, go over here to ESPN. So look up over here. Look up ESPN. So look C E S P N. Go over here, right here. Press the subscribe button and notification bell. Go over. If you want to watch the just first take, uh, I'll say to do. But if you want to watch all the videos, just go over the videos playlist. If you want to just watch first take, go over here. It says first take, and he has all the first takes right here. Video we're watching right there. It's the very first one. And so, um, I'm put the link to their channel in the description. And so, I hope y'all guys, um, enjoy this video, and, uh, I'll be reacting to it just like y'all guys. Alright, let's get started. I need some clarification, Stephen A. When you say yeah. LeBron is going to get his numbers regardless, no disrespect to the king and everything, but he's going to get his numbers, do you mean he will make sure he plays well, or do you mean he will put up numbers to show everyone, hey, I may have some sorry teammates, but I'm not sorry. Like, what do you mean he's going to get his numbers? Both. See, I, to me, he can't win no matter what he does, even sometimes when he does win. On the one hand, when he's had some sorry playoff totals at the end of the game, and mm -hmm. guys like you and me were jumping up and down saying, MJ would have never ended up with eight points in a finals game, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. He could argue, look, I'm trying to, you know, I'm not just a, a pure scorer. I do other things. If he doesn't get his numbers, if he does get his numbers and his team isn't good enough to win, he's accused of just getting his numbers. I don't think LeBron James cares about, oh, I'm going to show them I'm putting up numbers. He's trying to win. And if that means he winds up with a triple-double with 40 points, which is totally possible, that's because he was trying to help his team win, not because he cares about well, shutting well, people up with numbers. No, but you're acting like they need to be mutually exclusive. And I'm saying to you it could be a combination of both. What I'm saying to you is that LeBron James is always going to try to go out there and win. He ain't going to go out and try to lose on purpose. But do I believe that LeBron James has that little element inside of him that he wants to make sure that in the end, and nobody looking at him, when it comes down to wins and losses? Yes, because one of the things that the probably the only thing that LeBron James has been sensitive to in the past, the kind of stuff that he can't let go of, is when people have been critical of his individual performances in wins or losses. So what he's going to try to do is neutralize and nullify such banter. He's not going to happen. If, he's, if, if this team is going down, LeBron James, I'm not saying he's not trying to win. He's not going to try to put forth max effort. I would never disrespect him like that. I'm just simply saying he is the kind of person that will also be cognizant of his individual performance in the event that he knows the ship is sinking. He's going to go out there and he's going to prioritize putting up his numbers to make sure everybody recognizes, look at what the hell I'm working with. It ain't me. It's a very yeah, valid point nice. on his part because it's a very valid point on his part because he's not working much. I I'm pausing the video. Hold up. All right, guys, we're back. I got to admit to you, Max, never, despite all of, all of our belief that LeBron James is leaving Cleveland, never was it more apparent to me than yesterday at TD Bank Garden. When I watched this team perform, I said, there's no way he in hell he's staying here. There's just yeah, no way. I, I, by the way, there's I no thought way that, on earth he's I staying that, in Cleveland. I, we, all do, we all thought kinda it. Kind of all but season. I'm just saying, this is a, not a very talented I'm team he's all, on right now. I'm, I'm saying we all thought it, but I'm saying to, to sit there and witness all of it. You've been at games before. It's one thing to watch the game and just watch the game in an isolated position. It's another thing to see all the other stuff going on around you, watching body language, watching communication, listening to a crowd, seeing people talk to one another, looking at people rolling their eyes and shaking their head and like, what the hell is this? What is going on here? I'm just saying it was never more apparent to me than yesterday that these are LeBron James' last days in Cleveland. I would be shocked if he ended up staying in Cleveland after this season. Hmm. We'll, we'll move on, but Stephen A., you and I got to talk more about LeBron getting his numbers because I see that totally differently. Here we go, bro. All right, guys, we're back here. 
I'm going to go over it one more time just in case you weren't paying attention to very far. Look up ESPN, go to ESPN, and <clears throat> you want to watch all those videos, go over here to videos, scroll down, watch what you want, watch all of them. Make a bunch of accounts here, subscribe to them, give these people more subscribers. Right now I got 3 million, 100, I'm not even going to tell you, can see it though, they got a lot, but still make multiple accounts and subscribe to them. And then go to playlist if you just want to watch first take or stuff like that. The jump, the jump, or whatever. Um, first take, just click on first take right here. You got all kinds of videos right here you can watch. All kinds of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching and Crush19 out.